What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'm doing a little, something a little crazy I guess, but let me go ahead and flip the camera and I'll show you. All right, so check it out. Um, right now what I'm doing is I have some of this Galaxy Silver. It's a base coat. It's actually a ground coat before a candy color, before a candy paint. So I'm going to go ahead and mix just a little bit of the Galaxy Silver. Um, I'm going uh, I'm going to do something simple. Four parts Galaxy Silver and then one part of the Victory Red. So right here on the four to one, I filled it up to the number two. And then I'm going to fill it up to the second number two with Victory Red. So it's just four parts silver, one part Victory Red. Now see if we can get like a little pinkish. Uh, hue and we're gonna use that towards a ground coat So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more. Well, just a little bit of the victory red Okay, here we go So it's on the two and it's silver Galaxy silver and then victory red Gonna mix that up Wow, that's actually a very nice color almost what I'm looking for uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try this out this is just going to be a ground coat right here I have a test fender um, nothing too special you know has a hole uh, just sanded just so it could be like relatively smooth uh, I didn't do any body work or sealer or no nothing like that I'm just looking to try out a color something new uh, if you're thinking, what am I going for here? Uh, have you guys seen that Mazda CX-5 late model? Maybe like a 2017, 2020. It has this really, really beautiful red tri-coat color. And it's called Red Soul Crystal. And the color code, I believe, is 46V. Uh, very, very beautiful color. So right here, these both uh, are urethane uh, base coats. So just mixed it up. Right now I'm going to finish mixing it up, put it in the spray gun, which I'm going to be using the Italco. This is a 1.3 and this gun is uh, pretty similar to the SATA, the SATA Jet 3000. So this is what I'm going to use. This is the Italco H3000. So I'm going to use that and I'm just going to go ahead and spray this whole amount. I'm going to probably add some reducer. This is 6 ounces, so I'll probably add just a bit of reducer and uh, put in the gun and start spraying. All right guys, so there's the color. Really, really nice. I've got my mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. Okay guys, here we go.
All right guys, so this is three coats and this is going to be our ground coat, like our, our base coat. So right here, this is a four to one mix between Galaxy Silver, four parts Galaxy Silver and one part of the Victory Red. So these are just paints that I already had right here. I mean, even just for a base coat, this is a beautiful color. I have a pink Mitsubishi, so like if I ever wanted it to paint uh with automotive paints you know like this is a beautiful color just like that i'm gonna go ahead and just turn on one of these guys and you can see like right here it you can see the silver first you'll see the silver and then towards that way you'll see more of the pink and that's that's on all the fender that's how the light you know uh reflects off of this right here so really really nice so this is going to be our ground coat four parts galaxy silver one part victory red and just a little splash of reducer just to you know help flow out the gun but that's going to be our ground coat so next up we're going to move to the mid coat let me show you how i'm going to do that all right so here i have a clear base it's not necessarily clear coat uh this doesn't make your car shine this is basically clear base coat no color added to it and over here i have this is actual candy paint so i'm not necessarily going to spray candy paint over that ground coat but i'm gonna, i am going to use it to tint this clear base so there's uh, there's no you know specific formula here i'm just this is all trial and error so i'm going to go ahead and mix it again four to one so it's four parts of the clear base to one part of the candy. So right here in the four to one, I added up to the number two of the clear base. Sorry guys, I thought I hit record. This is the second coat, but basically it's uh, four parts of the clear base, one part of the candy wine mixed in there, and then one part of um, reducer. Four one one. Mm 
All right, and finally, the clear coat. This is a four to one mix. So it's a four parts clear coat to one part activator. I'm using the medium speed. And uh, you can add up to a 10%, like a five or 10% reducer, uh, just to help it flow out the gun. All right guys, so here it is. Here's the final result. You guys let me know what you guys think of this color right here. Right now I have the heat lamps on. Um, but let me go ahead and turn these off. There's the color, just uh, parked inside I guess. Um, never mind the straightness of the fender, I'm just looking at the color. You know, just like this, let me see if I can zoom out. Just like this, you know, it looks like some type of red, of course. And then if we move it out to the sun, I'll just leave one on. Right now, once it dries a little bit, we'll go ahead and take it outside. But this is the color. I don't know if it's difficult for you guys to see it. But, you know, we have the ground coat, which is the Galaxy Silver mixed in with a little bit of Victory Red. And then we have the mid coat, which is just the clear base and a little bit of the brandy wine candy. So it's not full on candy. It's just a one part candy to four, four parts of the clear base. So just a little hint. And then after that, it's just the Autobahn clear coat, four to one mix. So, but look at those colors right there. How it blends in. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this right here just for a little bit while it flash dries just a little bit. And then I'll go ahead and take it outside and see what it looks like outside with the natural sunlight. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so that's all the painting that I have for you guys today. Uh, leave me some comments. Tell me what you guys think about that color right there. Does it remind you of some certain color? Does it look similar to the Red Soul Crystal? Uh, it's just some paints that I had left behind from some different projects here and there. So I was just thinking of just mixing or just making something creative with all these paints. So that's it. One more thing before I leave. Have you guys checked out Boom, this is a set power mini fridge. It's a freezer fridge. It's a 12 volt and it has an adapter that you can connect onto your house. So this is a uh, digital. You can control the power from here and it has a lot of storage space in there. Keeps all your drinks cool. All your, you know, if you go out camping, your food and drinks, everything. So really, really nice fridge. So. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys on my next video. Peace out. Oops, nice and cold. <laughs>